Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and today we have this really nice looking Series 2000 American Lock, Puck Lock, Padlock, and these normally lock up, I know, vehicles and shipping containers and such like. Hard and steel, very, very tough things to, uh, to, to get into physically. And I got this um, on eBay for just the most incredible bargain. It does only come with one key, there it is, but it is bitted to six pins. Um, doesn't like to come out of the lock very easily. I think it's got a little bend on the key, so I think somebody's knocked this while it's been in the lock. But, you know, it's, a, it's still a really, really nice looking thing. I don't, well, I don't know. That screw's a bit rusty, but the rest of it's in such good nick. It's hard to know whether it was very well used or not. Now, one thing is, it's really, really heavy. So um, I'm just going to pick this in a vise and go find my vise. So here we are, nicely in the vise, and uh, yeah, very easy to pick actually in hand. Um, you've got to be quick though, because it does get real heavy real quick. Just rest it against the table. A um, whole lot easier to film though if it's in a vise, so that's where we are. Got a 1.2 millimeter pry bar, goes very nicely on top of the keyway. Plus, um, I've got a Sparrow's Lunatic and my favorite piece and gem here, so I might just use the gem for now. Just uh, get a bit of tension on the top of the lock. Just go through. Um, this is pin to six, so nothing on six. Very solid. Five, little click. Nothing else. Four, nothing. Three, nothing. Two. Both sets going on two. Little click on two now. Good. Back to the back. Mm, nothing on six still. I feel like I'm oversetting something on five. You can see a bit of cancer rotation, but I think that's the key pin giving that false cancer rotation. Tiny click on tiny click on three and a bit of a core movement there. That's two now. Um, anything on one? Well, tiny, tiny amounts of movement on two and a little click on one, and we are open. There we go. Okay, so. Um, not great feedback in there compared to a lot of American locks that, that I pick new. Um, so certainly the amount of feedback does go down. Now I'm not going to gut this lock, but I'll show you why. It's just because it's got these uh, little roll pins in there, which um, if I get out, I'll never be able to get back in. So uh, I'll just show you how far we can get without doing that though. You can undo this little screw, which is weirdly rusted compared to the rest of the lock. Then, because that's open, we should be able to pull the whole core out. And then, uh, well, put that body just there. You take this little spacer off the top. It's a bit like a little kick cylinder. And, oh my goodness, is that greasy. Ugh, look at that. And then um, you've got that little split roll pin there which I guess you could punch out but again getting it back in I'm not so confident and I quite like this lock so I'm going to keep it the way it is but yeah it's um the only other thing is odd about this lock is as I said earlier is it's actually pinned to six when a lot of American locks are um, as standard pinned to five so yeah it's pretty good I like the lock anyway well I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time